in Boston. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Kansas City Royals and the East-leading Boston Red Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. Alongside me are Major League veterans Steve Lyons and Eric Karros. And Steve, let's talk about the two starters to take the baseball here tonight. And a look there at the starting pitcher charged with facing these guys as his numbers are on your screen.
that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And my gracious, look at that comparison. Both guys into triple digits. That is... Now here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Man, and not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Harry Potter will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Here it comes, two and one. Swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. And this will stay inside the third base bag, a fair ball. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Oh, he had to be sitting on this pitch because he was all over it. This is a curveball, not really a terrible one either, but he guessed right. He yanks his ball right down the line for a leadoff double. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first will be in plenty of time to get Hernandez, and that's the second out. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Royals go down one, two, three. They're still down. It's two nothing. Play Brandon will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. as he gives this one a pretty good ride out to deep center. And that ball is gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. And that is 27 for him on the year as the Red Sox have moved out three. Well, this is a wake-up call what it's like to pitch up here in the show. I mean, big league hitters, they spoil the good pitches and they crush the bad ones. You got every bit of this one. Strikes up. Tom Pulse will step in now, 0 for 2 to this point. and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And that is into right field, the base hit. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see it. He was right on that. Jay Brewster will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Ball lying toward the alley at left center. And this will get down and make its way to the monster for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4 nothing now. Well, he gives this ball a pretty good ride. No shot to get this one as it's going to wind up hitting on the track and one off of the ball out there. It's going to wind up pulling into second with an RBI double. Contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. And 
and a dive, but he can't pull it in out in right center. And he'll round it and drive for third. The relay, and it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. Well, once his ball got out there, you figured it was a sure double, but he decided to risk it and drive for three. It's a pretty big gamble to take when you're already in scoring position. And Got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Kaysen now in the bullpen. And they guessed right on the bunt, but this is going to be close. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. So a good pitch there to get the out, and with that, we'll take a look at the league leaderboard in terms of team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. There he goes in this one, the less precise he's going to be with his location. You can see it up on the screen. He's up over 90 pitches here. So he's starting to get tired and running out of... top of the monster and they'll get back a run here as they're on the board it's four to one well he put up a string of zeros up until this point but looks like his shutout's not going to be in the cards as he gives up his first run here on the rbi double he'll try again one two and he's going to add to the total 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning Run for the Royals on the RBI double. Get up and stretch. The Red Sox four and the Royals one. Harry Potter again another crack. One for three thus far. And that's in there, base hit. And 
he'll be tagged out heading toward the plate. And with that, the inning is over. Another good inning here for the Red Sox. Hey, it's fun when you're world champs. Here's where you really need to pay attention to that guy first. On the ground to second base, this could be two. They're handed for one. On to first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, we talked about how they needed a good outing out of this guy, and he gave them that and even more, finishing off the complete game victory. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, really a dominating performance.